What's up, party people? It's your girl Cece coming at you with another Surprise Friday. So, currently, I have been home all day today because it is currently fucking snow getting outside. Like, I'm not even kidding. It has been snowing all day. It's been eight inches of snow, both school and a bunch of the classrooms have been closed, and I ain't been doing nothing. I started to make a video, and I really did not know what I wanted to do for my video. So I decided, you know, I'm just gonna make a short because I haven't done one in like four months, and you know, it's about that time. I wasn't originally supposed to like during December. I wasn't gonna do like a um, Christmas themed uh, makeup show, but I never got around to it. So this is pretty much like my makeup routine for like the winter time, and you know what I do for the winter. And yeah, we're just gonna get into it. So yeah, I'm sorry if this video isn't particularly funny or anything, but I'm literally out of ideas. I don't know what I need to do. So whatever I'm start doing, I'm gonna just start leaving like suggestions in the beginning and the end of my videos. If you guys wanna leave like a comment on what do you wanna see on this channel, let me know. Cause I'm starting to run out of ideas, you guys. I'm really tired. It's just a lot to be going on. Okay, so without further ado, just make sure. Maybe I'll tell a little bit of a story time while we go. So first things first, we're gonna be using the baby skin primer from Maybelline. I've been using this since I got it like about in two months ago. Okay, a little bit on my finger right here. I'm just gonna rub it in. I'm just gonna kind of put it around the focal points of my face and then rub it in as we go. So yeah, couple things. Um, for one thing, I'm working on a couple projects. Um, hopefully I'll be start um, actually shooting them in the summer, in the spring slash sometime. But um, right now I'm in the writing process. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet, but uh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, I think I think I said this before. I started on um, class a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, I've just been having to use it on my classes now. So I have a job now. So yeah, so now I don't really wear foundation in the winter time, and plus, mostly because like it's a time waster for me. It's time to too much time for me, and also just like you know, I, I feel like it kind of just messes with my pores. So instead of just doing like, a whole bunch of concealer, what I'm gonna be using is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. And I'm just gonna put it like, all around once again the focal points of my face. I'm gonna put it around my eyes, around my jaw, a little bit on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead, as you can see. And we're just gonna blend that out. And for some reason, it makes it look pretty. So I'm just gonna take my handy dandy blender and just blend that all away. Yeah, uh-huh. Comment down below if you wear foundation in the wintertime or if you don't. I just want to know. So, yeah. A lot's been going on lately. But, yeah, I am working on, like, a secret little project that you guys won't see probably until the spring and summertime. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, moving on from that. Now, I'm going to do my bronzer. Now, what I do for the bronzer is the NYC Skin um, Bronzer. And I'm just going to say this brush right here. As you can see, there's tape on it because it's kind of a cheap brush. But it still works. I'm just going to do it, like, where the sun would naturally hit my face. You know, when the sun does come up. Because, once again, we're in snow getting up in Michigan right now. Um, yeah, it has been snowing literally, like I said before, all day. It's eight feet of snow, and it's just ridiculous. So yeah, but yeah, I actually kind of want to do like a Valentine's Day maybe makeup tutorial or something for Valentine's Day, maybe a skit or something. Comment below what you want to see. But yeah, sorry if I keep saying comment below. But yeah, I just do pretty much into my cheeks, just all around the temples of my face and everything. So yeah, I will put my hair up, but I don't, can't find any of my rubber bands right now. You ever have that problem where like you're trying to find like a rubber band but you just can't find one? And then when you're not looking for one, it just pops out of nowhere? Like you ever have that problem? So yeah, bronzer. Then moving on to blush. I usually put on blush last, but why not put it on first? So I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette. It looks like this. It's really cool. At first, but now I kind of like do wear blush. But the color I usually use is this one right here. So yeah, this kind of nudish color. I'm just gonna dab it all over my face, you know. And this is just to make me look a little more awake than I actually am, and make me look like I'm alive. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, this pretty much is like my school tutorial. I'm also gonna do another concealer. I'm taking the Elmay um, concealer, and I'm just gonna do like another dots and everything. And also, um, lately I've been listening to a lot of musicals, preferably Hamilton. Um, yeah, I was kind of sleep on Hamilton when it first came out, and now I'm kind of obsessed with Hamilton. My favorite songs include um, You'll Be Back, um, Satisfied, Congratulations, um, The Skyler Sisters, uh. Yeah, I didn't think they were really cool. Something was in my eye. So yeah, now we got that. So I'm going to just highlight my face. So now we're going to move on the brows. Um, usually I just kind of like my brows. I don't just like do anything too special, too crazy or anything with my brows. The first thing first, I'm just going to brush them up a bit. Like so. A little spooly thing. And I'm going to be taking the um, Milani Dark Brown Eye Gel. Um, eyebrow Gel. And I'm going to be taking this brush right here. So yeah. But yeah. I actually, um, but yeah, I've been listening to a lot more musicals. I've been listening to Dear Evan Hansen, and it's literally lit and freaking awesome. And I love Dear Evan Hansen. I like Heather's too. I've been listening a lot more to um, Candy Store, and I actually, um, y'all might actually hate me. I'm debating if I want to do a video on this. I'm very much debating. Comment below if you want to see. I really want to do like a full on review of the so called illegal Heathers. I know there was somebody who already kind of like w pointed out everything that was wrong in the illegal Heathers. I'll have that link to that video below if you want to go check it out. But. I don't know. I kind of forgot. I need to um, prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow because this is where it gets kind of kids. I get more complex in my eyeshadow, so I'm just taking again the concealer that we already use, which is the CoverGirl concealer, and I'm just gonna like I use this as a um, eyeshadow primer because a it's a pretty good eyeshadow primer and blends in really well and it makes it stay on longer. Plus, like my other one was starting to smell from Forever 21, and I did not want that on my eyes. So, yeah. Uh, something again something is fucking bugging my eye but yeah so yeah now we got that on so now we're moving on 
to what I do for my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. matte to matte palette in nude right here. Yeah, the way I do my makeup is like I like I get dressed in the morning and then I get ready to go catch the bus and everything. I take about three buses to get to my job. And then like what I'll do is just I I usually get to my job like really early. Like I get in an hour before I go. So I just kind of go into like this bathroom that nobody goes into at my school and just like pretty much put my face on and everything there. So yeah. So I'm just gonna be taking the um, first color in the palette, which is um, this color right here, and I'm putting it all over my lid. We're gonna do this as our transitioning shade and our base shade, you know? So yeah, look at me using all the beauty guru words. Oh my gosh, you should be so proud of yourself. I know, right? So yeah, we got that on there. Now we're gonna be taking um, this shade and kind of like using it as a transitioning shade. And yes, I keep using the same brush. I'm gonna use the same brush for long, okay? Promise. So yeah, now we're going to kind of tra trade our brushes and I'm going to try to do um, a little bit of a lighter. We're going to use this shade right here and I'm just going to kind of swift it around at the upper of my lid. And this is going to kind of start creating like our transitioning to like getting to the darker shades because I like putting the darker shades on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to combine these two shades right here kind of tap it right there and then we're just gonna try to blend put it all up in the outer of my eye yeah it looks pretty legit it looks pretty freaking legit if I do say so myself and I did say so myself because I said so myself and then usually I don't usually do this but just for y'all I'm gonna add a little bit of pop of color I'm taking my BH Cosmetic Party Girl limited editions and I'm just gonna take a bit of the let's go for the red because I really do like red I've been liking red a lot recently and I'm just gonna put it like on kind of in not near the inner corner but kind of like toward like kind of like on the lash line almost you know what I mean almost like we're creating a liner almost so yeah now I'm gonna be taking my Lacombe palette and we're only gonna use one color out of here well no I lied I'm sorry we're gonna be using two colors out of here this is for my inner corner so I'm gonna be taking this color right here and just kind of um, be putting it in the actual inner corner of my eye I'm sorry to actually come become a master at this actually. This is just to give me like a little bit more of an awake effect. You know, make it show and also give it a little bit of a pop, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna take this little like kind of sandy coral s color. I, I wouldn't even say it's coral, more like a sandy brown. And I'm just gonna put it like where I put my base. I usually do that before, but I kind of forgot. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then again, going in with like the inner corner shades, I'm just gonna take this other BH Cosmetic. This is the um, Foil Eyes palette. <laughs> and we're gonna go back again in with the inner corners, except this time, we're gonna be using a little bit of this color right here and a little bit of this, if you can see it. It's a pretty big palette, so yeah, that ought to be fun. Just to add a little bit more to my inner corner highlight, you know what I'm saying, G? You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I usually didn't, I could never get inner corner highlights until like I got like both these palettes. So if you want to start off, these I think are really good palettes. And plus they're like super freaking pigmented. Like BH Cosmetics, I see you. And I got this at Target during like the holiday thing. I don't know if they have them anymore, but um, some might do. The one I got it from is the one in Madison Heights, so... Yeah, now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. Now, usually I suck at wings and I like suck at regular liner, but I like using an eyeliner marker. I'm using the Maybelline Precise by Eye Studio and I'm just gonna do this like that. So yeah, I've also been like watching a lot more like television and TV. So yeah, there's that. I've been watching a lot more Live and Single and all those good television shows that everybody loves. So yeah. Now we got the wing going on and everything. To add another, I think, another nine yards to 
my look. I'm just gonna try to do I'm gonna try to like do a little bit more on the bottom of my lashes just to make them look a little bit more awake. I think it came out really good or really bad. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we gotta do mascara. So what I'm gonna do, I use two different mascaras. I use the if I can reach, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Black and the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. These are, this is actually a really good dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just do one coat on my eye right here. And one coat right here. And then one at the bottom, one at the bottom. And then do one more coat on here. Right here. Bottom and the bottom. So yeah. Now all that's left to do is my lips. And I've been kind of going for more like a like wineness. So first things first, I'm gonna prime my lips with the uh, Maybelline Baby Lips formula right here. Mmm. It's the medicated formula, by the way. So yeah. And now I'm gonna be taking this um it kind of rubbed away. I got it at like the uh, Mediterranean Dollar Store. And it's really cool. It's very like similar to NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream. So I'm just going to do one line and just go. Like that. But yeah. And then for another nine yards, I'm just going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Lip Sit. And kind of just dab on my lips. So yeah, that's the finished makeup look. And then as for hair, I kind of just comb my hair again, kind of straight. I keep this straight. I sometimes put it in a ponytail, but other times keep it straight, keep it nice and simple. And to like kind of like get my hair nice and greasy, I use the um, OGX oil, if that makes sense. Take a little bit and just run it through my hair. It feels really good and it's made with Moroccan oil and it smells like freaking amazing. Like it smells fucking awesome. And I'm, Watch your profanity. I'm gonna take the big comb and just kind of go through my hair. Kind of give it a nice little side part right here. But yeah, that is my finish everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you guys very much enjoy. I will leave all the products that I use in the description below. Make sure you comment down below what you want to see next on the channel because like I said, I'm running out of ideas, you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you probably on Sunday. I love you guys with the peace and the pizza. Make sure you subscribe. Bye!